y'all welcome back to our channel this oh, is the hubby. hubby yes it's me the hubby and uh was inspired by elisa lynn just did a video for y'all on her cups so she was like why don't you get your cups out and show them your cups so i said okay why don't i get them out and show them so here we go this is the hubby's cup collection it's in no way as large as elisa's lynn's but the wife's hers is much bigger and probably a much better collection but <clears throat> i have a few cups and about each one has a story so we'll start with this one of course this is ray dunn it says joe that is my name this is marshall's for 5.99 this is one that i just uh i usually keep like on my desk and put pins in that way it reminds me of what my name is in case i forget so that's the joe cup <clears throat> that's the first one and uh this one's special. This is my 81st RRC Enduring Freedom uh, Iraqi Operation Iraqi Freedom Cup. Um, it is very faded and very used. That is because when Lisa's mom would come over, uh, this is the cup that she drank out of every time she visited us. <clears throat> um, she wanted to use this one the first time she saw it because it was my military cup. So I let her use it, and she used it, and and. Uh, very special that I still have that for the military part and Lisa's mom. Another military cup. Look at that army emblem. That's me right there. I'm the army. Hua. It's an army thing. Yep. This is an army cup. It's let's see. It's faded. It was six ninety nine. I can't tell who it was from, but it's another army cup. <clears throat> I love anything army. All star dad. Father's Day cup, very special. I rarely use this one. I try to keep this one in good condition. Don't want it to fade, I love that cup. This one's different. This is from the Maneuver Support Center Engineers. Um, so this is another Army cup. Yep, and it's different, it's beautiful. And it's non-microwavable because it does have the gold rim on it. Let's see, you can see the engineer logo. And right there training first safety always that's where i used to work with the engineers and the superman cup my alter ego um last name's clark in the military they called me kent clark or clark kent and then it just kind of carried over to having the nickname superman so um reason for that i was the smallest guy during uh, basic training in, in the early years in the military when i was in and nobody thought I would make it, but I always did, and I always did better than they thought, so they did call me Superman in the military, so that's my little logo cup. <clears throat> Elisa showed you hers. Hers is pink and has her name written on it, but this is from Bayou Bliss Realty. Um, we had a realtor named Jackie Meza, and um, she sold our house for us, and she did everything she could to get us into our new home here. So um, this was what she gave us when we, uh, we sold our house. And again, Lisa has one and I have one. And these are real good quality tumblers. Look at that. Really super nice. Beautiful. <clears throat> this one I bought in Bosnia. It's, it's sticker has, it's covering it, but it's IFOR for uh, I4. There, see, that's what it's supposed to look like on the other side with the sticker. But this is from Bosnia, Herzegovina, when I was over there during the Yugoslavian Wars. So, I always keep this one close. We're gonna go back in time here. This is my high school graduation cup from Graves County High School in Graves County High School, or Graves County, Kentucky. I was class of 1993. So that's showing a little bit of the age there, but this is another one with the gold rim, non-microwavable, of course. But this is back from when I um, graduated high school. Compliments of First National Bank. Everybody graduated got one of these. Pretty cool. Ancient history. <clears throat> All right. Now I'm going to show this. This is the, um, if you ever watch the show Duck Dynasty or the Duck Commander guys in, in West Monroe, Virginia, uh, Louisiana, this is like the cup that Cy carries around with all his sweet tea in it. This is one I use. I've used this practically every day for my sweet tea. But he did give me a one that's in the wrapper, and this one I'm keeping in the wrapper in perfect condition with the Duck Commander logo. 
and Cy was kind enough to sign this one for me. So thank you to Cy Robertson for signing this cup for me, and that's something that I keep put up. Um, some of you might know, or if you don't, I have a pretty good size Duck Commander autograph and collection of some of their memorabilia. I'll have to show that to you guys sometime. But again, that's signed and autographed by Cy, Uncle Cy. And the last one I have is probably the most special to me. This one I've had since I was, gosh, I couldn't even drink out of a cup when this was bought for me. I was a baby. But my grandparents, my grandma, grandpa Newton got this for me when I was real little. And my first sips of coffee or any drink was out of this cup here. I'm a little hillbilly from Tennessee. Of course, we lived in Michigan at the time. Didn't quite get that. But my family's from, my grandparents are from Tennessee and Kentucky area. But this cup I have had, it's small. I have had this since, gosh, I was probably not even two years old. So it's been with me for a long time, and I'm always scared I'm going to break it, so I keep it put up. Uh, this is something I'll always keep and treasure because it's one of the oldest things I have in my whole history of my life. So there we go. That's my cup collection. <clears throat> if I had to pick a favorite, it would probably be this one from when I was real young. But definitely close second would be the, uh, the Psy. And anything that has about me being a father is cherished. So, yep, that's my cup collection. Anyways, short but sweet. Hope y'all enjoyed. And uh, thanks for watching the videos. Don't forget to subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. Share it. And I appreciate it. We'll see you in the next. Bye-bye.